Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are in the Ultra Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And we're kicking off again with this team that you can see in front of you right now. The team as always is down in the description below. There is a Roll Paste and a Poker Paste. If you'd like to try out the details or even try the team out, be my guest. I hope you enjoy it. As I say, this is a bit of an interim period where we're bringing back some competitive action to the channel because we've got our roulette series running every day at 7 a.m. UK time, Greenwich Mean 10 plus 1. If you check that out, it is a lot of fun, especially this week's team. I would definitely recommend checking that out. But we're concentrating a bit more on some serious competitive action this week. And uh, whether we can continue this next week could be another thing. As I say, I started this week just seeing if I could juggle both series at the same time. I've missed competitive action so this is why I brought it back if I can manage it of course I will do it and maybe it will be every other week but we'll see how we go from then on but let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on seeing a bit more competitive action rather than just the roulette series or are you happy with just the fun that we're doing with the roulette series until the rules are announced but without further ado guys the music is on I'm looking forward to getting into today's episode. Like I said, we had a bit of a hiccup in our last game in yesterday's episode, which wasn't so great. But I'm still feeling positive about the team. I feel like we're still going to be able to do some good work with it. Um, what are we going to kick off with today? League title defence, always one of my favourites. I know it's one that we use over and over again, but... It is one of my favourites. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. What I'm going to do is just cut straight now and then we'll come straight back when we find our first opponent of the episode. And we've got our first opponent of the episode. We've got Fate from Japan. So let's hop straight over into Team Preview. Let's see what we're playing against to kick us off today. Okay, so our first opponent today has a team of Kyoga Dragalge. Or however we're going to pronounce that. But that's how I'm doing it this time. Crocodile, Eveltal, Metagross and uh, Greninja. So, a mad mix of Pokemon. we got two water types there. we got two dark types. Poison type, a ground type and the steel psychic type in Mega Metagross. So, it's a, a, a Veltal Kyoga combination there. It's a restricted call. Um, we've got speed control is pretty much only on Eveltal, which is Tailwind. So, um, we can definitely match Tailwind. Uh, oh, what are we going to do? There's no fake out either. Um, I think we'll go Eveltal Raichu. Um, do we want to bring Tapu Fini here? Alteria could be good though. There's a nice switch in for something like um, Crocodile. Um, and I think I'll go on a Crosma as well. Yeah, because Alteria, once it's Mega Evolved, can deal with um, the Eveltal. We need to watch out for the Metagross, but between Eveltal and Ultra Necrozma with the Earth Power there, I'm pretty sure we should be able to handle them well enough. The only thing is, we're not bringing Tapu Fini, which I wouldn't mind the Misty Seed for, but uh, now nah, we'll, we'll be fine. He says we'll be fine. Hopefully we'll be fine. I don't know. The Misty Seed might have been the one thing that we, we probably needed to help us a little bit more against that Kyogre, but let's see. We'll be alright. I think. I think we'll be okay. Let's see what my opponent brings. They're definitely bringing Kyogre and Eveltal for sure. Crocodile and Eveltal. We've got all the uh, all the dark types coming out here. Um, Raichu's feeling a bit of pressure right now, but it's all right. I mean, we can um, we're going to get intimidated for sure by the Crocodile. Um, we can fake out Crocodile, go for Tailwind. It's not a bad play, really. Um, and we can also scout out by doing this if that Crocodile is scarfed or not. Um, there is a little part of me that thinks it's probably scarfed, but we'll see. Um, Raichu's got its Sash, so it's in no trouble of getting... E like a Z-move could come out here from the Eveltal. I feel like it's a bit of a waste, though, going into Raichu right now. Um, but we will see. We do fake out. Uh, we just see a Snarl, actually. So the Crocodile not scarfed. And uh, no speed control either, which is quite nice. Um, <coughs> this kind of opens the door for us straight away. My thinking is, uh, we get the Tailwind up, we can um, go for the Volt Switch into... The opposing Eveltal. The only thing is the Eveltal could be, could be, um, it could protect, it could protect, but it might be Assault Vest as well. Um, I'm going to go for a Snarl. 
and I'm just going to go for that Vault Switch into the opposing Eveltal. If we lose Raichu, it's a bit unfortunate for sure, but um, thankfully we don't, so we get to preserve that for later on. It's definitely, I'd say, a Salt Vest Eveltal. Um, we'll probably see another Snarl come out here, but I mean, <clears throat> Altera is going to be pot flying type now. I uh, haven't got the fairy typing, so it's not resistant to uh, the dark typing here. Uh, we did get a snarl off, which will help us a little bit, I guess, depending on what this opposing Velta wants to do. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the Crocodile goes for. Okay, so we've just seen Oblivion Wing. It'll be into our Velta, um, which is fine. Um, and a knockoff. Huh. But not going to do too much. Man, look at the damage that does. Oh! Uh, okay, let's go chase down this Crocodile. Let's go Mega Evolve and Hyper Voice. And let's go for foul play into the Crocodile as well, just to try and get some damage there. Um, hmm. That knockoff did so much damage. That's crazy. I guess we haven't intimidated it, but. Let's see if my opponent keeps the Crocodile in. Uh, the Hyper Voice. It'll be interesting to see the damage it does to the opposing Veltal, for sure. And we're not going to see any Protect come out. A Foul Play. Hopefully it puts Crocodile in range, which should be in range now, the Hyper Voice. Is that Banded Crocodile? Could well be. Do some nice damage to the opposing Veltal. Pick up the Knockout onto the Crocodile. Uh, we're going to see Snarl come out, which is fine. Um... Oh, if we could just get rid of one more Pokemon, then we can Perish Song and then everything will be fine. Um, let's see, I wonder if Kyogre hits the field now. Likely will. Mm. They're bound to have brought Kyogre, but might. Ah, oh, no, here it is. Here's the Kyogre. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll be alright regardless here, like we can snarl if you want, we can foul play the Kyogre. Probably snarling's better. Snarling and hyper voicing. Um Just I want to be able to get some like I need to get a bit of the the reduction on the Kyogre I think here. Um and the hyper voice we'll go for. Maybe a snarl and a hyper voice is enough to get the Eveltal. I uh, I'd probably say it's not quite enough right now. I think the Eveltal's probably got enough in the tank, especially after the Snarl to take this. And then our Tailwind does pitter out and run out. And if we lose Altera here, uh, I don't expect us to lose Eveltal. Um, then we, we should be able to get Raichu back in. And get a fake out, Tailwind up, and that should be enough. Oh, we're going to see the Eveltal switch out. Greninja come in. Ha! Huh. Uh, Hyper Voice, how much damage are you going to do? So we get a special attack drop on both of these Pokemon coming in. Um, and then we'll get this Hyper Voice off. Obviously we're in a Tailwind here. Wow, we get the Greninja. Not doing very much to the Kyogre. And if Altaria can hang on. Just this one turn. I don't think it's going to... Nah. Okay, that's fine. Um, we could have went for the Perish Song, which would have made things a lot easier, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Uh, we'll get Raichu back in. Yeah, because then we can Tailwind, we can Snarl. Mm, protect, yeah, we'll Protect. Um, what am I talking about Protect for? I don't know why. Um, I'm not Snarling. I'm Tailwinding. I'm tailwinding. Do we need to tailwind though? Um, probably, because I don't know the speed of this Kyogre. Uh, we'll fake out the Kyogre. I'm just thinking the Kyogre probably could protect. I'm thinking out loud. I'm thinking my thoughts. It's the first sign of going crazy, people. I feel like the Eveltal has to snarl here as well. Kyogre flinch. Oblivion wing. Is that into our Eveltal? Possibly, yeah. There's a decent chunk of damage. Chunk of damage. Um, it's definitely a sold vest. Evelto, 
Um, there's a tailwind. So, hmm. Do we double the Kyoga? Snarl. And a Vault Switch. But then we're going to bring Dustman to Crosma, which probably doesn't really want to come in on anything. Hmm. We could on-call the Veltal into Oblivion Wing. We're probably going to lose both both Pokemon doing this, though. Um, we might lose both anyway, because I don't know if a Vault Switch is going to be enough with a Snarl to get the Kyogre. Very unlikely that it is. Um, yeah, but it does mean that we get to preserve Raichu and the Faker for at least another turn, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Depends what the Kyogre is going to chuck out, though. If it's going to be an Origin Pulse, it is minus two now, so it's not going to be hitting as hard. And if it goes Water Spot, then I mean, that's the happy days for us. Happy days, Thunder. Ooh. You're going for Thunder with a Raichu on the field. I don't really understand that. I don't understand it at all. <laughs> okay, there's the uh, there's the snarl. That's fine. Um, ugh, I just no, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Right. We have to watch out for this foul play, of course, from the Ivalto. I think we'll just fake out. And well, Photon Geyser, the Kyogre. I'm not gonna Ultra Burst just yet. We could potentially lock the Eveltal into Snarl as well. We'll see if this Eveltal goes before anything else because, yeah, it's got Sucker Punch. So we'll get rid of the Kyogre now. I think what we could do is protect an Encore. Uh, we can't Encore, because then, yeah, well, we could Encore into Snarl, for sure. That's that's definitely something we can do. Encore into Snarl. And then we've got the Sunsteel Strike that we can utilize to do some decent damage with, and, like, double into it with, um, with Vault Switch. Ooh, Sucker Punch. Okay, well, we're going to lock into Sucker Punch, because went for it. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, can we nuzzle? Can we just protect? It is locked into it. I mean, we could just stall out the sucker punches, couldn't we? I mean, it could attack Raichu, which would be the, the bad thing here. But it is just targeting. Uh, does we, I think we survive a sucker punch from this range, to be honest. And I think a Vault Switch and a Sunsteel Strike are going to get it now. So let's just do this. Let's just do it. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not going to... Um, nah, we're not going to Ultra Burst, though. We'll stay in this form. We've got a bit more chance of survival if we stay like this. Oh, so close. Right, you, you nearly stole the shot. And we'll be able to pick up the KO with a Sunsteel Strike and pick up our first victory today, which is always a good way for us to kick off. Um, oh, I can't believe the damage that knockoff did. It must have been banded. Must have been banded, Crocodile, um, on the Altaria. Because it would have been so much quicker if Altaria just stuck around a little bit longer and we could have perished and it would have been game over very quickly. But never mind. It was a very fun battle one for us to kick off with today as well and we're seeing a bit more of the team as well Raichu one of those Pokemon that just keeps coming back doesn't it in, in every VGC format that it's it's allowed in it does so much work um, I really like Raichu I think it's such a great Pokemon it'd be nice to see it do well at the World Championship this year maybe it will maybe there's a certain Mr. Glick who did well with it in the last time we had restricted Pokemon and he might be using it again. Or maybe it's one of you guys out there that is attending Worlds. And you're going to use Raichu because you think it's just a cool Pokemon. It's so many good support options as well. Uh, Faint, Uncle, Nuzzle, Vault Switch, Fake Out. He used to get Follow Me. I think that's like a Gen 3 thing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. 
or is it even before that? I'm not too sure which generation it is. I'm sure one time or another it got follow me though. It's very good. I tell you one Pokemon that gets follow me that I wish had moved from, I think it's generation three. I think it was a tutor in generation three or it might have been Gales of Darkness, but Helping Hand Togekiss. If Togekiss still got Helping Hand, that combination of follow me with its flying type, the resistance that it gets there and Helping Hand, all my Christmases would come early, I swear. It was It's always the Pokemon that I think, if you still got help in hand, you'd be so good. Every team that I've had with Togekiss in as well would have always been optimized by that help in hand. It would have made it so much more viable, or useful at least. Anyway, we're searching for our next opponent. It looks like it's gonna take another little while. So we'll cut here and we'll come straight back, my friends. And we've got our next opponent of the episode, we've got Z Shadow from Portugal. So we haven't had a Portuguese player for a while, so very nice, and we'll hop straight into team preview. Okay, so their team is made up of Xerneas, Groudon, Alolan Persian, Aerodactyl, Raichu, and Ferrothorn. So, it's uh, the Xerneas Groudon combination, but you can see from the con concept of this team, it's got all the support options to help um, get this Xerneas set up and help it steamroll through teams. You've got the Ferrothorn on there, it's going to be a good Trick Room check, at least if Trick Room does go for this team, so it's got some counteract there. You've got the Tailwind support from the Aerodactyl, probably Sky Drop there, Wide Guard, Rock Slide, all the shenanigans, then double fake out, two fast fake out users in Raichu and Alolan Persian, and then the Groud on there that's just always going to be difficult to deal with. Um, we definitely want uh, Dusk Min across my here, especially with that Sunseal Strike. It can do good work against a lot of things. We need to watch out for that Alolan Persian, though. For sure, that can cause us a lot of issues. Um, hmm. Do we go with... Oh, the, I just want to bring, like, everything here. I Honestly, I feel like lots of options here are going to be good. Um, I'm going to bring Raichu. And I think I'm going to bring Altaria. I'm gonna bring, oh, but we need, I oh, know I don't think I can. I'm gonna bring Yvelto, Tapu Fini, and oh, I don't think, oh, you know what? I didn't lock in, I didn't lock in with Duskman and the Crossman. and I think we're stuck with Altaria here, which is oh, really frustrating. Oh, I, this is not, not going as well as I would have liked because if you see, per okay, with Persian, Aerodactyl, Double shinies. I would have been worried more about Persian and Xerneas here. A hundred percent. Um that's me and the Cosma not having it here does make things a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna have to switch Raichu out because we'll our slash will get broken otherwise. I'll bring Tapu Fini in. Um and I'm just gonna protect Yveltal here yeah. Uh, my opponent might go for a tailwind. The thing is, with with uh, Eveltal in this situation, we're not going to enjoy taking rock slides from Aerodactyl, for sure. So we're going to have to try this next turn, get Tailwind and Icy Wind set up, so at least we're getting the jump, and then we're able to heal pulse our Eveltal going forward. There's Mega Aerodactyl. Um, we'll definitely see, I, I think, a fake out and a tailwind this turn. Uh, there's a fake out. Yeah, into the finish. So we could have went. Oh, okay, there's a taunt. Mm. Okay. Um, we'll go for icy wind. And do they go for a taunt again? I mean, I'm gonna try and tailwind because if they do, then they do. If they don't then everything's all right. And we get the tailwind up, and we take a rock slide potentially. So Persian gonna withdraw, we're gonna see Xerneas come out. It's interesting that we don't see a parting shot there. That is interesting. Um, tailwind. So we'll match the tailwind, and we'll get an icy wind off, which gives us the jump, which isn't ideal for us using his. But, if my opponent goes for, that is 
frustrating because we needed to um we needed to yeah we needed to hit the aerodactyl there really did uh, to get the jump on it um gonna have to go icy wind again but there's only stand to just neutral we'll try a snarl as well um just to reduce the geomancy they might just double attack us you know that's the other so the other scary thing that we could see here we do have haze on finny so it's not the worst thing in the world um i am surprised that we didn't see a parting shot there um i ca i don't mind it i kind of prefer that we were not seeing it but at the same time let's see there's a rock slide okay that's why flip man Yvelto taking so much damage we do get the snarl off which is super super useful okay so we need the icy wind now we need this icy wind like yeah we hit both okay that's that's super good for us because there's only his can boost now but it's it's going to be slower than Finny the next turn. We can haze. We can foul play Aerodactyl as well. I'm just going to see a Moonblast though. That's the yeah. Oh, into Finny. It's interesting. Okay, well I still don't mind that at all because um, we can go. I guess my opponent might try on the last turn the Tailwind to go for this Icy Wind. Um, I don't know what's better to go for. If we go for. Hmm, Foul play into Aerodactyl and a heal pulse might be a better option just to keep Evelto around for a little bit longer and then we can potentially go for um, another Tailwind later in the match. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. So, foul play the Aerodactyl, which we should outspeed now. Yeah, and this should take it down. We get rid of at least one threat. Okay. We get Veltal up to tip sharp shape. Tip top shape. Right. All nice and healthy again. We're going to see Moonblast. Is it going to be into Finny? Finito. Oh, we hang on though. Finny, you're a hero. <laughs> I love you, Tapu Finny. I love you so much. Hanging on. Uh, so the Snarl really coming in useful here. So, um next turn we can uh, I mean it depends what comes Ooh, Groudon. Groudon coming in. I'm so tempted I am so tempted to go for the um, the old switch into Altaria and, and scald the Groudon with Finny but it's probably not the best or the uh, best thing to do right now um We'll go for another Icy Wind. And we'll go for another Snarl. We'll go for a Snarl again, I think. Um, just to reduce the damage, the, 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 the ability of the Xerneas. If it does decide to Geomancy now, then at least it's just going back to neutral. Xerneas going to withdraw, um, which is fine. Persian going to hit the field again. So we've got to worry about that Xerneas late game. Uh, Thunder. Oh my god. Thunder. You mad. You mad. You're so mad. <laughs> Thunder Groudon in the sun. Ah, oh, man. I've seen every <clears throat> I've seen everything now. My voice decides not to go. Um right, we'll get nice icy wind onto both targets. Um Tailwind does pitter out on both ends of the field, and I mean it's quite important for us to kind of try and keep a bit of momentum here I think could we get Altaria in hmm probably not right now hmm do we want to keep Finny around for later bring Raichu in Raichu's probably not Raichu's good against Xerneas as well though so there's a part of me that's quite happy just to sit here and go for another icy wind and just go for the foul play this time into the Groudon and get some damage off there. So fake out into... Okay, Eveltal. It's fine, we'll get another Icy Wind off. We're gonna see another Thunder. More Thunder! Yeah, that 
because of the sun. It's not really hitting the spot that it needs to. Uh, we'll go for another icy wind because I suspect the Zerni has to come back in now. Um, if we do see a parting shot, potentially, I guess. But we'll go for that foul play into the Groudon. So Groudon going to withdraw. Uh, okay. Xerneas coming out. I mean, I don't mind getting just additional damage onto the Xerneas as well. Um, it's a foul play. Foul play. That's good damage. That's good damage. Yeah. Uh, Icy Wind. Slowing everything down. What's the Persian going to do? Half up now. Yeah, the Xerneas. And I mean, between these two, we should be able to close this, this up pretty well. We're going to see a foul play. It's going to be into Ai Veltal. That's fine. Because uh, we can snarl and heal pulse Eveltal. Because I don't think the Groudon can beat Eveltal, although it is a special Groudon, but it feels very close to being in range for a foul play. And I think we're going to be able to wrap this one up. I don't feel like my opponent's really able to kind of capitalize on any sort of momentum at this point. It's, it's quite difficult for them um, to build on anything. We could see the Geomancy here. Um, definitely something we could see but yeah there it is there it is okay it is plus it's gonna be plus one though um, I mean that's why it would have been better going for the icy wind there again um, so it's only plus one if we can get <clears throat> I mean, one thing we could... Ah, oh yeah, going for the taunt to shut down that potential um, haze there. Um, we'll go for another Icy Wind. And I'm just going to protect Eveltal here. Because if we lose Finny, it does mean that we get Raichu in. And we can go for the Fake Out Tailwind. And then we can go for Fake Out Uncle Or Fake Out Nuzzle. Obviously one after the other. Not at the same time. Because right, you can't use two moves at once. If it could, it would be the, the most badass Pokemon. Persian gonna withdraw. We're gonna see Groudon now hit the field once again. Um, so any icy wind support here would be obviously really useful. Um, just to further along, but I'd imagine the Xerneas might just attack the Finny just to get rid of it. It was so, I was concentrating down on it so hard before, so that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, we're going to see the Moonblast. I don't think we take this from this range. Plus one. Now nah, we go down. But it does give us a free switch into Raichu, of course. So that's that. That's what we want. Um, although, mm, yeah, I think we got to go Raichu. I kind of want to bring Altaria in, but it's not the time. It's not the time of the place, my friends. Uh, let's go fake out into Xerneas. It could protect here. Definitely could protect. We'll go for a, um, a Tailwind. If that Groudon decides to throw out some more Thunders though, Raichu's going to be feeling real good about itself. Uh, we're not going to see... Ooh, no Protect there, so that's fine. Uh, there's Eruption. Eruption, okay. Pure Special Groudon. And there's the Tailwind, so we're sitting pretty nice now. And we can um, just Snarl. Snarl and... Uh, do we Volt Switch or do we go Nuzzle? Hmm. Maybe Nuzzle's better. Because if we can. Fully paralyze it this next turn. That would be that would be it really, wouldn't it? We could see the Xerneas Protect and the Persian come in. It's definitely an option, I think. Oh, we're not going to see that though. We're just going to see the Xerneas Protect. And, um, and there's the Nuzzle. So Groudon does take a Snarl. Yeah, you've got to think as well, like a foul play and a hyper voice will be enough to get, um, it will be enough to get the Xerneas and then we've only got the Persian to deal with after that, so we should be alright regardless of what happens here. Um, I'm just going to check, I'm just going to double check to see what the Xerneas' speed was, it was, yeah, only plus one, so we're plus two, so we, we will definitely... Hyper voice, and we will go for a foul play. 
Uh, I'm not really worried about what the Groudon's going to do now. It's Sean Earth Power, it's Sean Eruption, which isn't going to be doing very much. It's got Thunder. Again, accuracy very shaky. It's probably got Protect as its fourth move, so I can't, I'm not really too concerned about it right now. And then the Persian to come in, I don't think it can really deal with Mega Altaria. Groudon going to switch out. Persian coming in, going to take and tank a Hyper Voice, which should be enough more than enough to take it out at this point so we will be able to more than likely pick up a double knockout here i think the one thing we have to worry about more than anything else is the double protect from the xerneas which my opponent could go for here it's a good win condition for them if they get it because then it would mean uh that they could get the fake out the next turn not gonna get it done oh the moon lost oh it's into Altaria. can we take this oh we can't oh my god are you kidding Alteria, how are you not faster in Tailwind than a plus on Xenius? Uh, we're going to see a fake out here, and I think the game could go. It could go. It could backfire completely because we've got to protect. We're going to take a big fat moon blast, and I don't know if we're going to be able to beat Persian and Xenius. Oh my gosh! Alteria, how could you do this to us? This is why we needed Duskman Necrozma. We didn't need the Altera here. We'll go for the Snarl. Uh, we're going to take a Fat Moon Blast. It shouldn't take us down, but it's going to be very close and maybe in range for a foul play. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe you're bringing in Groudon. You need to take the opportunity to hit us with Persian, I feel, right now. But, I mean, okay. Moon Blast. We should take this. No, no, we don't. Even plus one. And that was plus one. What an... Oh, I can't believe... I can't believe that. I really can't believe it. Honestly, I can't. Altaria. That is terrible. That's where we need to look back. That's a good situation here. That we need to look back at EV spreads and say, right, when we're in a tailwind, we need to be faster than X amount because it's pointless otherwise going down a tailwind route when you can't add speed other threats in the format and that's a good lesson for all of you out there right we're going to knock this one on the head thank you so much for tuning in guys hope you've enjoyed today's episode we'll be back tomorrow i might make some tweaks to the team in between now and then and then we'll come back and we'll uh, continue it on tomorrow so thanks for tuning in have a great rest of your day whatever you're up to and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye